Libra. Libra, let's get into a general read for you. And right off the top, cards typically don't fly out like that for me, but we have Finding. Now, finding in your current energy can mean several things. Maybe you're finding answers yourself. You're finding change to be beautiful. Uh, let's get into it and figure out. We have the moon, the devil, the ace of swords, and the fool. You're finding change scary. Scary to the point where you are really having to confront those demons that have plagued you for a while. And we see that happening and being successful with the Ace of Swords. But then we also have the Fool here, which is this whole new start, this whole new level up idea that's that's happening for you <sighs> too many cards so let's have a look so whatever this is you've conquered it to some degree let's all right the desire is dreams now for desire of dreams to be here for some of you, this may be that you were desiring to figure out what you want in life. For others of you, the dreamscape is providing an outlet. Now, with a six of wands, either way that this desire of dreams is, whether you're bringing them in, um, or just enjoying the whole idea of dreaming and what you're able to do there has a significant impact. We have the Six of Wands. This is actually success to some degree. Now we have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups speaks of regret around a previous situation <clears throat> in which you would like to reconcile. So your dream seems to be that whoever this involvement was with, that you would like to go back and revisit it again. But it feels like if you do that, you have, how do I want to put it? Because of what's happened in the past, you're better equipped to deal with what's coming up. The outcome is boundaries. And in this card, this is the first time I've realized it, this individual is sitting in a ring of fire. And boundaries are not a bad thing. We have the Seven of Cups, the Magician, the, na the Page of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Boundaries el help eliminate confusion. When you have boundaries, it's easier for people to bring in things to you and for things to materialize in your world because they know how that's actually going to happen. How will this come in? How does it have to come in? What will you accept? What will you not accept? We have the Page of Swords, followed by the Eight of Wands, the Justice card, your card, Libra, and the Strength card. There's communication and messages coming in. Maybe you've been spying on somebody, or maybe somebody's been watching you, but there's messages that are coming in. <clears throat> and what these messages have in them is going to require some strength. You may not be ready for what this is going to be. 
you may not be wanting to hear what this message is, but it is coming in. What you need to be aware of is the hangman, followed by the lovers, the queen of wands, and the page of pentacles. Looking at things differently, making a choice when you're ready to do so, can create a learning point, not a turning point, a learning point. For some of you, you're viewing love in a specific way, like it's supposed to entertain you. And that's really not a great way to look at it. We have the Five of Wands, the King of Wands. So we have the King and Queen of Wands and the Death card. The Five of Wands. Maybe somebody's competing for your attention. Maybe there is just back and forth fighting between this King and Queen. And that needs to change. That needs to change in a major way because it's not conducive to the relationship overall. So let's pull one more card from the Oracle deck. And we see this as reconciliation. Some days this amazes me when things all flow through, but we can see that there is this desire or this huge possibility of a reconciliation for you with this particular individual or whoever is on your mind. That's what I have for you today. Best of luck this week, Libra. We'll talk to you next time. Stay safe.